I have released three build videos since the Super Auto Pets most recent update. And all of them include a vulture. It's pretty clear I have a vulture addiction. Step one is admitting you have a problem. Step two is doubling down, baby. We're running double vulture. I love this run so much. It's incredible. I'm going to say nothing more. Let's jump the hell in. Okay, we are live. We are in on replay. I love this run so much. This is like a platinum Rev GT run. <laughs> it features questionable strategy, no clear direction, and then stumbling into absolute greatness. It's really like a trademark win for me. So this happened last night, and I was playing it on my couch on my phone, and my roommate Sammy was next to me, and I was just giggling like a madman. He watched the last couple of rounds. It's a good time. So we're in custom packs. Yes, I have a vulture problem. No, I don't care. I mean, for the sake of like variety, I'll probably stop running it, but it just, it was always a good pet, and it just feels stronger than ever. So like, if you don't know, which I assume most viewers do, but just to be safe, for every two friends that faint, the vulture will deal four damage, and then more damage as it levels up. So you want some things that summon around it. Uh, we take our level, and I love this strat, it's Baboon. It's give me a tier 2. It's give me a 2-2. Two, two. We're getting weird already. We're getting weird already. Give me a tier 2. We get spider. <laughs> so, already, the direction of the run is found. Under no circumstances should you have this team as your um, turn 3 team. But we're living in this world. We take the L and that sort of sets the precedent for the run. At this point, I'm like, dude, I guess we're running big spider. I don't see any possible alternative. The shop has decided for us that that is what we must do. I'm a player that respects it. And considering I came in with no plan, as I usually don't have a plan, if I'm being honest, I came in with no plan. It's force fed us spider baboon. We're running this, man. And you can already see how this would work with a vulture, potentially, the spider being a summon pet. You're going to see what happens, man. It's so funny. So, like, Lima continues to be cracked for a tier 2, free garlic. Here's our level. I feel like we can go faster. Do you take donkey? You know I'd love to, but dragonfly's really good here. Why did I freeze a lettuce right there? Doesn't seem that important. And I don't freeze the flea. Like, it's all it's all a bit odd. This is what I mean. Rev GT strategy lacking. This guy's mole gaming. Up to level 2. Great play. I get a flea. Thanks for the weakness. Oh my god, what a draw. This Jukaki Rage dude, like, prior to the patch, he ran nothing but Starfish, and now he's running a lot of Mole. Just one of those people that just runs the same build over and over again. Questionable Lettuce. Baboon level up. We love it. Oh, I love... I just... Ugh, I'm so excited for you guys to see what comes. So, like, a lot of my previous videos have sort of been discussing, like, what's strong and what's not. Vulture, it really, I said it earlier, it really does feel stronger than ever. Oh, hello, Mr. Vulture. Hello. Welcome to our team. We're happy to have you. The what, Probably the world's worst lettuce right there. It's a Rev GT video. Expect it. Expect. <laughs> oh, Antita, stop it. Stop it. Vulture's going crazy. Naughty. So, like, I, to give some more context... Basically, like, I made a lot of build videos that would have gone up, you know, last week or prior to this video, where I was sort of testing what's, what I feel like has become strong. And then this run, I was just playing it out. I didn't really know what I wanted to run. As we get another Anteater, by the way. Cracked. Do we... Surely we still lose this? We actually draw. Um... Yeah, I didn't, have a, I didn't have a plan for this. I just wanted to... My strategy was just to play around and see what I find is interesting and then pursue that. And instead, we're in this situation where we're... <laughs> I, I should have I used Alpaca differently. Um, I'm in this... I forgot what I was going to say. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? The spider's going absolutely crazy. And by the spider, I mean the vulture. How are we going to scale this? You know the answer? We're not. 
<laughs> Looking for... So that, like, every other video I've run has included elephant seal. This time we're going T-Rex. Makes sense, right? T-Rex scale is a vulture. This guy's running a crazy squad. Weasel, are you kidding me? And we win. Beautiful. Blammer, Grounded Sap's best friend. Here we go. Let's start to cook a little bit. Let's level up this T-Rex. Into another T-Rex. <laughs> so, remember how this team was meant to be built around the spider? It's just ex existing awkwardly and not scaling. What the hell is Rev gonna do, I hear you wondering? Let's find out. Jukaki Rage, Mole Gaming. Suck it. How do we go here? We lose, we lose, we lose. By the way, was his shark in like third position just then? One up the spider, that's important. Oh, yeah, baby. We don't need another T-Rex. I probably, I wonder if I could have pursued five T-Rexes right there. Flame 96 definitely would have. We survive. We survive. Get destroyed. <laughs> oh, yeah. And let's just like, let's take stock of where we are. It's turn 13. We have four wins to go. We have three health left. There's a lot of life left in this game. We have two scalers and two vultures and a spider that... God bless you, Mr. Spider. We all love and appreciate you, but you're not really doing much. But we're not... The, the shop decided that you must feature heavily. So feature heavily you will. I'm rolling for no good reason. Why did we get slow again? I don't know. Let's level a vulture. So what I'm thinking at this point is, all right, I'm going to combine T-Rex. I need to bring in another tier five or six. Really? Did you see how outstanding we were? Did you see that part where we won? Are you kidding me? So I need something to benefit or like to give more oomph and it's Sabretooth. Turn 14 Sabretooth with one scalar. Keep that in mind. Turn 14 with one scalar. And it's a T-Rex. It's mostly giving attack. Roly poly. This is where the run gets really fun, man. It's vulture season. <laughs> this team is not good. Elephant blowfish. No chance, right? No chance? No, it's, everything's weak? No chance. You're killing everything? Oh, we were close, mate. And, I, I, you know, when I look at it, actually, we were so far away. Let's look to level our Sabretooth. Feels weird not running Weasel. Like, I've just been running Weasel so much that I've become accustomed to that being, like... I've just become accustomed to 13 or 16 gold in my life. So going back to 10, I feel like I've... I feel like a peasant in many ways. This guy with his snipe team, we've played him a few times, unless it's someone else. Goodbye, my summons. Hello, my vulture. You have been the one. Any James Blunt fans in chat? Another Antita. Spider's going crazy. We win comfortably. Vulture's dealing 8 damage. In conjunction for 16 damage. Turn 16. So, like, it's hard to predict how many vulture triggers you get because it depends on the saber tooth, but we're getting a healthy amount. We have we have so much attack on a team that really relies on health. Chipping away. You hit the wrong unit. Hit the snake, please, for the love of God. Hit the stop. It hits everything but the snake. <laughs> what a draw we're still fighting turn 17 we look for the vulture level and really we want saber tooth and vulture level and that's about it at this point two saber tooth and chop saber teeth what's the plural of saber tooth <laughs> i'm going saber teeth Okay, this team was on my most recent video that you would have watched, or my most recent build video. This exact team that also in that game pulled a vulture to this position. We beat him last time. How are we going to go this time? Weasel, give me that extra gold. We're smashing everything. Once again, we end up beating him comfortably. Whoo, turn 18. Are we going to make it? Because this is... I probably would... I probably... This is the type of video I'd probably upload either way. Are we going to make it to 10? Let's find out. The Vulture Addiction is real. 
The vulture addiction is justified. I'd argue. Maybe you disagree. Oh god. You just get you just get nervous every time you say these kind of teams. And our health wasn't that high, so how how do we go? Make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs> Uh, at that point, I I was like, Sammy, you got to watch this. Incredible. Turn 19. More attack than we know what to do with. The spider hasn't scaled for like, probably like 12 rounds at this point. But it is the, it's sort of the heartbeat, the heart and soul of our team. Turn 19, does this monstrosity of a lineup get over the line? Let's wait, pause. Let's slow it down. Intra Dodo Bat is such an odd thing. We actually do. The spider stays on one health. We lose one summon from the saber tooth. We pop. In come the vultures. Bang, bang. Osprey. This spider is really delivering the goods. Baboon, that's kind of fun. Oh, your team's wiped? Your tomato won't even get to trigger, my brother. Thank you so much, self-loathing Scarlet. That is the build. Double Vulture. I think I'll put it away and I won't use it anymore. But I'll say these two things. The Vulture is so fun and it's stronger than ever. Um, and also, if you get a situation like this where the shop or where the, the game force feeds you a spider carry, stay true to yourself and you may end up with a delightful run like this. Alright, have a great day, people. Peace.